Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello family, thank you again for tuning in for another exciting episode with Fafa in my kitchen. Now naturally I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements of my chickpea recipe on my blog fafagilbert.com so do check it out and whilst you're there please do not forget to subscribe. So to start off this recipe I will need my chickpeas. You can use your tin chickpeas but it's very easy to just you know make your own so i did soak my chickpeas overnight yes you can soak it in lukewarm water for a minimum of three hours and you're good to go once you've done that rinse your chickpeas thoroughly and then transfer it into a saucepan with water and allow it to simmer for about 40 to 45 minutes now if you do have a pressure cooker that would quicken the process for you. Now, we need to boil this until it has that beautiful still crunch, but it's nice and moist and fluffy. At this point, my chickpeas had been boiling for about 25 minutes, so I then added some salt. And for that procedural heat, I added one whole habanero chili. Yes, I didn't crack it because I didn't want it overly spicy. The next ingredient I'll be using will be halloumi, and I'm using the separate halloumi. So it's not as salty as your normal standard halloumi. Yes, so I'm going to slice that, and then I'm just going to be chopping the rest of my vegetables. Now I'm talking about vegetables, of course, cucumber is going to represent, and that's going to add that added moisture, and you know that sort of like beautiful flavor to it. Now uh, you know um, there is no secrets to this. I'm just chopping this in whatever shape or size it's a salad and it's rustic you know and you just want it quickly done and just enjoy it absolutely so here i've got my red onions and i prefer my red onions when i'm using it for my salad it's sweeter and it's mellow in flavor yes in comparison to the white one and that's my personal preference but you can use any onion of your choosing the next ingredients I need to chop will be my sun ripened tomatoes. You can use any tomato of your choosing. And yet again, I've got one mild red chili here, very mild that is, and that's gonna add that residual heat to my salad. My chickpeas has boiled perfectly and I've drained it and it's cooled down. And here I'm transferring it into a bowl. And then the next thing I'll do is add my cucumber, onions, tomatoes, chili, and then of course, my carrot tops yes which has a beautiful flavor blend of parsley and rocket salad yes and must try now i need to make a quick salad dressing to make your dressing you do need your all natural yogurt yes i have covered that recipe and i'll leave a link in the description box so you can make yours at home with only two ingredients so i've got a here that is blended and so that i've added some olive oil and for that sweetness some beautiful guinean honey mm, yummy i've mixed everything together and i love the flavor of cumin seeds in this dressing yes because it will complement my salad absolutely i'm adding my salt to taste i just want does and then i'll mix it and of course i'm going to leave this in the refrigerator whilst i turn to the halloumi so frying up the halloumi is the last thing that i do yes because immediately i fry it and i add it to my salad i'm adding my dressing and i am straight up eating this dish <laughs> so yes it might look like yeah i think at this point i had like you know I, I was busy doing something else and i realized i was like oh gosh i've got the halloumi on there but you know, it wasn't burnt, burnt. It, it was great. And that was actually just about two minutes on one side, but it wasn't a high heat. Um, but it worked well because, yeah, it just looked beautiful anyway. So, yes, um, fried my halloumi. I've added it to my salad, as you can tell, straight from the frying pan, straight into my salad bowl. And here, yeah, darlings, gorgeous folks, I'm going to be adding my chilled dressing. This is not any other food. This is in to do by Fafa. Now, if you do like what you see, definitely. And you will definitely be trying the recipe. Smash the like button. Leave your comments below. Share with your family and friends. Invite them over. Very simple, amazing, healthy dishes. Yes, with my own little twist. So anyway, I've mixed everything together, as you can tell. And um, yeah, I'm just ready to enjoy this beauty. But of course, not until I do drizzle with some few 
mint leaves, fresh mint leaves. These are like flavors that are like a match made in heaven. You know, you've got the cumin seeds that you wouldn't even expect there, that residual heat that comes through from the chili. You know, you've got the mint and mint or cucumber. They're like first cousins. And I did serve this with my grapefruit juice. Ah, oh, it was just incredible, even if I say so. As I mentioned, naturally, I'll leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, fafagilbert.com, so do check it out. I've also got other amazing recipes on my other blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check that out as well. Now, you'll find me also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa. So do pass by and say, hello, how you doing? I'll be like, I'm fine, thank you, and you? Anyway, Noel, thank you very much for my theme song, and until my next video with you, kings and queens and beautiful people that grazed my platform today thank you very much for joining me take care of you i love you for you be you be nice and guess what peace out see you in my next recipe